Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the select CD-ROM boot type image error on older Macs. This is a MacBook A1181 running Mac OS X 10.7.5, but that's really not important because I'm trying to install Bootcamp. I'm trying to install Windows 7 on this one, but yeah, like I'm going to show you, it's not going to work. I will have to upgrade from XP to 7. So yeah, I'm going to show you two methods to fix this issue. The first one is a bypass and the second one is a fix. So yeah, um, the first one is really easy and it will work fine, but it will only work on some devices. So yeah, unfortunately that's the case. Um, it will only work on some Macs. You should try the first method at least three times but if it doesn't work after the third time don't try it again because it means that your mac ain't compatible with that fix uh, i have tried it on a bunch of macs and it works on this one it doesn't work the first method does not work the bypass method so yeah but oh well and yeah i'm using an external cd dvd drive reader so yeah, so that I can boot I can boot from this drive, so from the C D DVD in here, but only if I use a uh, refit bootable uh, drive. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that as well. So yeah, I'm gonna reboot my computer and I'm gonna show you that. So the first method is quick and easy. Show you that. Usually, you should boot from the CD or DVD uh, on this menu, which is the original boot picker, but I'm, I will have to use the refit boot picker. There we go. Okay, so it didn't show up first time. Ah, oh, man, that happens sometimes. To reboot it. That happens sometimes. It won't show up the first time, but it will show up the second one usually. Ah, there we go. So yeah, the first fix or the first bypass is you click enter, hold one, and smash enter a lot. So I'm going to show you how it's done. So this, it usually works on most Macs, but on some like this one, it, it does not work. But I'm still going to show you how to do it. I'm clicking enter. I don't know if the camera can see it, but I'm clicking enter. Yeah. On this computer, it doesn't work. It, the only thing that changes is now there's a one instead of just the cursor blinking. There's a one now, but if I click two, one, nothing happens. If I click enter, nothing happens. So yeah, unfortunately that doesn't work. Um, I'm going to show you now the second option, which is the fix. This one is a little bit more compu uh, complicated. You have to create a Windows XP CD or DVD. So Windows XP installer CD or DVD. Um, I think the issue has something to do, the issue from the beginning, so the select CD-ROM boot type is an issue that is because of the driver. There is a missing driver for the keyboard, so it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, I think that's the reason I read it somewhere. I think it was Mac forums or something. I read that, um, but I can't remember very well, but... This method does work, this method I'm going to be showing you, which is the, I'm going to be putting the Windows XP installer in it. Wait a minute, I just have to turn off my PC. Yeah. 
Bien. Yo. This method is a little bit more complicated. Yes, you have to create a Windows XP installer. But if you want to have like Windows Vista 7, 8 or 10, then you will have to upgrade from XP to Vista, from XP to 7. And or if you want Vista, then you have to upgrade from XP to Vista. But if you want 7, then you do not need to upgrade to Vista and then to 7. You just have to upgrade from Windows XP to uh, Windows 7. And if you want 8 or 10, then you can upgrade from eight, uh, from 7 to 8 or from 7 to 10, which is possible. So, yeah. Oh, it didn't appear the first time. Yeah, like I said, it, sometimes it doesn't appear the first time. But it usually appears the second time. I'm just going to be showing you very quickly. There we go. Boot Windows from CD. So now it will work. Um, I think this issue happens because of the newer installers like Windows 7, 8 and 10 do not have the drivers for the keyboard required to select the select CD ROM boot type folder um, image so yeah unfortunately you have to upgrade from XP to Vista from XP to 7 and then to 8 and to 10 or you can just keep XP if you want um, most apps still run on XP fine so yeah there we go it works it works well um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you. If it did help you, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Later.